The key to success in working dilution of solutions problems has to do with the moles of solute. In dilution of solutions, you need to remember what changes when you dilute a solution. Well, the two things that change are volume and concentration. But what does not change, and this is the key, moles of solute does not change. You may dilute a solution, you may change the volume, you may change the concentration, but you do not change the moles of solute unless you take some of that solution and pour it out. Therefore, the moles of solute before you dilute must be equal to the moles of solute after you dilute. Now, do you remember moles? Well, molarity times liters before dilution is equal to molarity times liters after dilution. And I'm going to, ex to expand this a little bit for you in just a moment. Or molarity times milliliters is equal to molarity times milliliters. Folks, it's very easy to convert from liters to milliliters. Just multiply both sides by a thousand. And that's how you came up with that second form. But remember, molarity is moles of solute per liter of solution. Moles of solute per liter of solution. Now approximately what volume of water this is tricky, so be careful. Approximately what volume of water is needed to dilute 25 milliliters of 18 molar sulfuric acid to 3 molar? Well, molarity times milliliters equals molarity times milliliters. 18 mol moles per liter times 25 milliliters is equal to 3 moles per liter times whatever that volume is going to be. And I calculated that the volume came out to be 150 milliliters. But folks, that's 150 milliliters of solution. And that is not what the problem asked us. The problem said approximately what volume of water is needed. Well, we take our 150 milliliters of solution minus the 25 milliliters we started out with and that tells us it's going to take approximately 125 milliliters of water. Now why do I keep saying approximately? I keep saying that because certain solutes will draw water molecules closer together, while other solutes will, will occupy more space and seemingly push the water molecules apart. And so you could, if you took 25 milliliters of this material, 18 molar sulfuric acid, and you added 125 milliliters of water to it, you could come out with a little less or a little more than 150 milliliters total. That's why we say approximately. A handy thing to remember is that you can use in all kinds of dilution situations is this general relationship. The concentration times the volume before, before you dilute is equal to the concentration times the volume after you dilute. Remember that. And you can use it for all kinds of dilution situations. Just be sure to keep the same units throughout. Don't start mixing your concentration units. Brought to you courtesy of The Chemistry Professor, offering complete chemistry courses on DVD. Visit us at our website, www.chemistryprofessor.com.